Right, what you want to do first is go onto this URUC Applied Aerodynamics group. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, from there, you want to find the aerofoil that you're interested in. And once you've found it, you then need to download the uh, DAT file. So once you download that, you uh, well, I'm opening it in the folder, but just be aware of where it is. Because we're now in using Excel to open it up. But you actually need to open Excel first instead of right clicking the DAT file and opening with Excel. Um, you'll see why. So I'm just closing some stuff I already had open just for some previous attempts. So we open up a blank workbook and we open this DAT file. And once you open it, it will give you some options which are imperative to make this work. So we look for it, there it is. So we open it and here it is. So we want to make sure it's delimited as it is. So we click next. After this, we want to change it from tab to space. Next. And then this is fine as it is. So we click finish. So this is our data. These are the points, the plotted points in the Excel. We get rid of that first column because it's not needed. And these are this, this is the pure positional data. So we get rid of all the extra blank columns, including the A. But SolidWorks needs a third column, it needs a Y. But of course it's a profile, so there is no Y element, so we put a zero for all of those. So now we can save this, keep using the format. Yep. Try again. There we go. And again, you can just see some previous attempts that I've already had a go at doing. So yeah, keep it as it is, click yes, and now we can close that and open up SolidWorks. Once it's open, sorry just ignore this, I'm not sure why it's doing it lately. So once this is open we then go to uh, new, uh, new part. I want to use the curve tool, which is over here. I want to curve through X, Y, Z points. Then we can use that to find our text file we just saved. Open it up and check that's all good, and then click OK. And then we press the magnifying glass just to find it. And there it is. However, it's not usable yet, so we need to convert it into something we can use. So we go um the way of doing this is to sketch on the same plane that the aerofoil profile is on, so on the front plane, and then we can convert the entity. And we click OK. And that brings 